Hey, this is Jack. I'm Sam. Today we are playing something very, very special. You guys might remember uh, a couple months ago or so, a while back, let's go to Nostalgia Cam and look at our crawl video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Krull a guy? I don't know. Is Krull the knife? <laughs> no, it's the glaive. Is Glaive a guy? Uh, we reviewed the movie Krull. We absolutely, well, we pretty much enjoyed it. We absolutely watched it. <laughs> A viewer uh, and a friend of mine named James brought me a little bit of a surprise the other day at the game store. Krull! The board game. I mean, ordinarily when you turn a movie into a game, yeah. you're kind of limited in how you're going to do it. I don't know how the hell this is even going to work at all. I'm thinking that this is just going to be Monopoly, but with Krull <laughs> names. Oh, shit. Well, it's definitely not Monopoly with Crawl. I don't know if it's better yet. It's a sweet-ass board. I think this is a, a style of illustration that's fallen out of vogue. It's, it's vivid. It's great. I love it. Yeah. What do you think of the five penises in a circle? Oh, I didn't even notice. Those, yeah, those are... <laughs> oh. <laughs> you won't have that in Monopoly. <laughs> it comes with a regular D6 with standard black pips, and then a custom six-sider three sides of the glaive, and then the other three, uh, say, slayers. And then it also comes with these cards. Are you flipping through those at all? Here's Liam Neeson. Oh, that's Liam Neeson. Oh, where's uh, uh, Hagrid? There he is. Oh, yeah. So now the idea is you're going around the penis board, okay. and first you're trying to find the glaive. You gotta find the glaive. Once you have the glaive, then you want to make your way to the Black Fortress. The Black Fortress is somewhere in these cards that are going to be dealt down. So I tell you what, how about you, you go first. Okay. Six. I'll fight. So he gets to roll the combat die. Okay. Three slayers. Uh, Torold has to fight three slayers, which means you have to roll this three times in a row, and you have to get four or under each time to win the fight. A each three times? Yeah. God damn it. Well, shit. <laughs> Alright, my go. One, two, three, four. Fire Mare. Fire Mare. So, Fire Mare means you get to move anywhere on, on the board. Anywhere you'd like. So, I'm gonna move over to this next fight, and uh, Liam Neeson's gonna do some damage. Why'd you pick that penis out of all the penises? Because that's the next penis you're going to. Oh, so you want to preemptively fight that dick before I get to that dick. Right. Alright. I rolled a glaive. That means I don't have to fight anything. God, what the fu- I had to fight three guys and my guy just saw him and died of a cheesy heart attack and like you could just- oh, Fuck you. I, uh, oh, I got Super Mario Hagrid. <laughs> God damn it, I wanted him! Alright. Come on, crawl. You! Alright, pick a card. Bam. I don't like this game. Why? I got Titch. What's for, wait, which one's Titch? He's the one whose name is one letter away from bitch. <laughs> it says, look again. <laughs> Does that mean that I gotta watch the movie again to figure out why this kid's special? So Titch and a bunch of other characters have this special ability where you can look again, which means when you go to a fight space, you pick up two cards, and then pick mm. which one you want, and then put the other one back. Got another level four guy, Daro. Here you go. You got a deep fucking roster. Oh yeah. That's not all that's deep or, I don't know, something about there's penises on the board. What's deep? Your ass? Like, yes, I guess so. I guess that's exactly what's deep. This one just says, try to get the glaive. Okay, so that literally is what it means. If you know where it is on the board or one of, or I have it, you can play that card and just take it. Do you know where the glaive is on the board right now? Bitch, I might. Then you can play that card at any time and pick it up. Well, there you go. Glaive. So now you have to find the Black Fortress, which is definitely one of these cards. Okay. Glaive. Mmm. Alright. So I got the Black Fortress. So, Sam found the Black Fortress. The um, best Ronnie James Dio album ever. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is the last part of the game. This is the Black Fortress. Once you have the glaive and find the Black Fortress, you can move to this board. So the prince is going to start down here, and Swamp Thing is going to start up here. 
and you're going to roll back and forth, and depending on what you roll, he moves or you move. Uh, so what's the end goal? So you're trying to save Princess Peach here in the center. Oh. Alrighty, so this works by rolling both the dice. Okay. Alright, odd and a glaive. Roll an odd number and a glaive. Prince Colwyn and the beast each move ahead one space. Damn. So just if he reaches her... Yeah, if he reaches her, you're donezo. It's back to me. Oh, God. Yep. Odd and slayers. Beast moves ahead. You got one more for the beast. Glaive and even. Uh, even in the glaive, Prince Colwyn moves ahead two spaces. Two spaces? One, two. All right. Mm. Prince Colwyn moves ahead two spaces. Ba bam! You were the princess all along! Oh! Let's get out of here! <laughs> Immediately starts making the little miniatures fuck. So, thanks again to James for the loan on the game and for the suggestion. Really, really appreciate it. So, leave us a comment if you played this game when you were a kid, and if you still have a copy floating around your mom's basement or something, let us know as well. Alright guys, that's it. Thanks again. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you'd like to, please check out my Patreon page for additional content. This is Jack. I'm Sam. And trying to get the glaive! Happy hunting. <laughs>